All right, today we're gonna to look at anonymous authentication with Superbase. And this does not make any sense when you read it, but then I needed a feature for a customer and I realized, oh, that's what this is. And I've built this feature before with other systems like Laravel and it wasn't easy, but in this case, not only is it easy, but it's a great foundation for SaaS products and just pages you want people to use but have state, state that they can, you can really work with in the back end. So I'm gonna show a lot of that here. So in, in this particular video, I'm not gonna to go too into depth here, but I really wanna start showing how I'm using cursor to build these things. The rules I'm putting together, the MCP and the feature files and some of the patterns I'm doing. I'm just trying to get it to a place where a cursor really is for me doing the coding. Whether it's lovable or other tools, we hit these walls and it's just sometimes hard to get around them. Or it makes something that's hard to deploy. So what I'm really fine tuning here is how do I make cursor build the things in a way that makes sense to me, that is easy to deploy, that the AI can really do with just one command. And you know, it's getting close and I'll come back to that later. In this case, you know, I'm just gonna use auth, anonymous auth, and we're just gonna build it or show a quick website. And that website will use this and you kind of see how it benefits and how it works. I won't go into details of this pro this video, but really what's going on here is some cool stuff because again, we're using real-time sockets or real-time events in Superbase and then NADN is doing some stuff in the background to transpose meeting notes. But again, it's can it can be a template for almost anything you can imagine. File uploads, chat, documents, URLs that you want to go get. It's It's kind of like this bigger picture pattern here you could do. And I'm gonna start adding to this so you can see how this can grow into a multi-purpose kind of interface. So anyways, let's go look at anonymous auth because that's what this one is about. So let's see here. I'm gonna go look at their docs for a moment to show you these are the docs and these will explain it. And it caught a customer's attention because they went to this particular site, rose.com, and you could just start using it. And that's what really caught their attention is that a user could like say, yeah, I get the product I wanna start logging in. But in the meantime, that user could use it and, and get going. And I know you can do that with sessions, but front end sessions, but we're getting a lot more here in back end, but we're getting a lot more here in a moment you'll see out of this auth pattern. Now we have this app here where the user starts making notes and sorry, not making notes. They, they basically are doing the classic meeting notes, right? They're just dumping some in and they're getting results. And as they do this, it triggers, it goes to this next page to say I'm processing. We're using real-time events to show a processing, pending, and returns. And then N8N does its thing in the back end to just kind of transpose the notes. And again, we could do a lot with this. I'm going to keep showing this because this pattern, we can build on it. So at this point now, this person has yet another note. And we, we don't need to even be logged in. I'm going to show the database in a moment. We're going to delete everybody and show what happens. So this is Firefox, and this person has no notes because I just opened it and we'll put the same notes in there and just do that and then they get going. But if we were to look into Superbase, they would be established as a user right now with the, with the back end and how it works. So I'm gonna go delete everything there in Superbase and come right back. So we have in Superbase this, this table for meeting notes and there's a user that owns those meeting notes. And then we have all these users here. And now this is a locally hosted Superbase so that we can do this. It's Coolify hosted. And again, I'll go from beginning to end really soon. I'm gonna just do a few more things and then I'll do it all the way so you can see how I code and build an application that could do quite a bit. They're gonna, I'm gonna add chat to this with RAG and everything you'll see. And so at this point, these people or these anonymous users are made because they landed there and then these people chose to join. And so there's a spot back here. So there's 002. And what, well, let me remove all these and come back and we'll start saying, okay, now we have anonymous and then we're going to join and watch what happens. So let me go pause and remove everything. All right, let's try this again because that recording went out. So now I've cleaned out the particular users and everything should be fresh. Now remember, sometimes you, in this case, especially if you're messing around, you got to clean out the particular sessions and everything. I just cleaned out most of them. So now when I reload this browser, I have no notes obviously because I delete them all, but more importantly, we now have a user who's anonymous, okay? And there's no email. Now, if I go to Saf Firefox, let me try Firefox again. I've cleaned out everything here, but last time I didn't clean out enough. If I reload this guy, and I think, let's see if that error is getting in the way. 
No, we didn't. Okay, so I cleaned out enough this time. So now we have two users, two different browsers, their own state. And again, this is state management's not the hard part, I know. And so we'll put in this meeting notes from Alice and we'll give that a run. And then we'll go to being a user. And that's what I really want to show. Not so much this stuff. This stuff's cool, but it will make more sense later. Okay, so now we have our meeting notes and I'm like, hey, I like this site, just like Rose and I'm ready to join. So this is where I can now say, I'm ready to join. I'm ready to take over all those sessions and things or all those things that were made beforehand. So here we have still two anonymous users and here we have a table with some data. And here we have a note that goes back to that user who's authenticated but anonymous. Okay, so now let's go here and what we're gonna do is go to here and we're gonna sign up. So we'll say daily. And then we'll say that because we'll just start over again. And then we are a permanent user. And now we can log out and stuff too, just because that's I just added that to the nav. But at this point, if we go back here and we just click this refresh, we see that we are no longer anonymous. We're not a provider type anonymous. And that's it. This person was able to use the site, come back to it day after day, and maybe build up a certain trust in it, and then just switch over to a real user. And just for other things too, because when I'm trying to make things happen in the front end and I want that kind of to carry over so that they can not only see their history, but their, the process as it's getting done, I can show all that as well. So for example, as we saw earlier, those notes now belong to that person or they have this whole time, which is pretty cool. And then another important thing is when N8N, let's kick this one off because I am curious why that didn't show in the UI. But when N8N is running, for example, it can keep track of who's who in that situation. So we can use this to our advantage to say, meeting notes, ID of the note, do some processing, put it back. But we could also, in this case, I guess I'm not needing that, but we could use the user's ID to our advantage if we had to then make a, and I'll do this next time where we have to make an external thing. For example, I'm gonna start ragifying this data or vectorizing it. So I'm gonna put some data in another table and I will link it back to the note, but I also could link it back to the user as well, just directly. So it it's a lot of things pay off here. The user can, as we saw, use it, save state, and make those complex things happen just by that authenticated anonymous user. So yeah, I really wanted to show off that. Not so much the demo of this stuff, but as I spoke about earlier, I am gonna come back to this because there's so much here. This anonymous user, pattern for just building quick off SaaS products or usable products, passive products, whatever you want to call it, for people to start using and interacting with your utilities. Really powerful stuff, all done by Superbase. And lastly, and again, I want to hit this again more later on, but by doing these patterns, the AI coding that I'm doing is the AI is actually writing stuff consistently and it's not going off the reels trying to make things up. I'm just really keeping it pointing pointed to these patterns that Superbase has and then it's able to build them more quickly. And the rest of the stuff, it's just coming together really nicely, which I'll share more later. I do have a forum area, it's a discourse, and it's five bucks a month. You'll get all the code, you'll get all the workflows, you'll get everything I have here so that you can just keep trying these things and learning from how I do things. A big one on RAG coming up. I shared in there how to automate QA with RAG, so you got all the files for that. And there's a video on that I'll share in below or whatever. All right, thank you.